In this video, I'm going to talk about your violin posture, or in other words, how do you hold your fiddly diddly, this thing called the violin. Well, what I do is um, I hold the violin here with my left hand, I hold the neck of the violin, and then what I do is I turn it like this, like that, just with that movement of my wrist, like that, and then I put it on my shoulder, like this, making sure that it's um, parallel to my shoulder blades. Another way you can do this is if you put it on your head and then make it come down the side of your face so it's touching your ear. So you're using your ear as a reference point and then it lands on your shoulder. And there we go. Now the next stage is um, that um, I should also say that I'm using a shoulder rest. I'd really recommend that you get a shoulder rest. They're, they're, um, they make holding the violin a lot easier. Um, and why don't we just talk about how to put one of these on. So what I do is I just um, hold this in between my knees. I get the, make sure that this, that the, um, I'm holding the shoulder rest like this so that the two sides are dripping down. It's like a moustache, like this, why don't you try that? So the two sides are, are um, dripping down like that. And then what you do is you can put this like this. And you can do this while you're sitting down. I'm standing up, but then what you do is you, you put the, you fit the little feet of the shoulder rest and you sl uh, around the, the sides of the, of the violin and you slot them up and you slide them up into place. And now that feels nice and snug, so that's not going to come off. So there we go. I'm going to do this. We find that. So that's the first stage. Um, and then the next stage is turn your head to the left like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to use the weight of your head and you're going to let it clamp the violin in between your head, which is very relaxed, and your shoulder, okay? So this, and you put it on this thing called a chin rest. Now, my chin doesn't really go on it. It's not like this. That would be a chin rest. It should really be called, a, I don't know, a jaw rest or something like that. But it's this bit of my jaw here. That's the bit that goes on it. And um, because I've got, I've got quite a long neck, um, uh, it feels comfortable because I've got the shoulder rest. So I'm just nestling it there. And then what I can do is I can take my hands away. And I'm just holding that up with the weight of my head, sandwiching the violin in between my head and my shoulder. So this is a violin sandwich. Now, so why don't you try that? I would always, always have your left hand underneath the violin like a safety net, just in case anything happens. Uh, because the last thing we want is for the violin to fall and then get damaged on the ground. So always have your hand there, but you could try eventually, once you're feeling confident, just taking it away, having it underneath, even this hand as well, ready to catch it. And I would recommend walking around the room you know, just have a little dander, just have a little dander around the room like this and do that, you know, for a couple of minutes every day and try to feel that, um, you know, the violin is part of you. You know, you want to feel you're one with the violin so it feels very comfortable and that will become second nature to you. So, um, it, it, I mean, in actual fact, it is very awkward, isn't it? It's not like the cello where you just place it between your knees and it's all very natural. It is very unusual doing this. Um, especially whenever you have to use your arm and you're actually moving your arm in that position. If you take the violin away, you never see anybody doing that, do you? But that is the shape that your hand is going to be in. And you can really feel that in your shoulder, you know, turning your shoulder blade, rotating your arm, rotating in your shoulder blade like that. Um, but that is the shape that your hand is going to be in. And, what I, and then what about your left hand? Well, what I do is I put my thumb underneath the neck like this so that I place my thumb sort of roughly um, just roughly down the side so it's it's um, I'm using the fat part of my thumb it's going down the side of the fiddle a little bit and um, yeah so it's not too much like that and it's not way underneath it's sort of somewhere in the middle and that, that feels lovely there that's just a, a perfect angle now right about here. So you can see your thumb peeking up here a little bit. Definitely not like that though, and definitely not way underneath like this. Somewhere in between. And then I have 
my hand like this, and my fingers are pointing up into the air, and they're getting ready, ready to play for whenever I need them for that. But that's a lesson for another day. So, with my, with I'm pulling the violin with my, the weight of my head, but also um, my thumb is holding the the violin as well. So my thumb is holding it up a little bit. But I could take that away if I wanted to. So that's um, that's that so far. Anything else? I think those are the, those are the main points. Then, so we talked about um, how to um, put the shoulder rest on, how to put it on your shoulder, turning your head, making a violin sandwich, um, your where your thumb goes to hold it up, and if we want to play a note, what you could do is you can get your right thumb, put it here on the fingerboard. This thing here is called the fingerboard. Get your Peter pointer, and then you can pluck the strings like that. I should also mention about your feet. So what are your feet doing? I just have my feet running down from my shoulder. So I don't have one foot sticking out in front of the other or my legs really wide apart. Just have them running down from each other. It's not a big deal. And um, whenever you're playing, whenever you're actually reading music, it's a really good idea. My music stands there is to turn your body towards the music stand so that you're actually looking down the fingerboard towards the music so that you're um, so it, it's effortless for you to read the music if I'm here my music stands there well you can see that I sort of have to squint over there so sometimes I want to look at my fingers sometimes there but look if I bring them both into alignment it means that my eyes don't need to to, to move from side to side I'm just changing focus from the music and my fingers um, and that's and that's it so that's also another hot tip for you whenever you're playing um, so and I can just feel my feet are nice and balanced and my um, my knees are just slightly bent slightly bent not not locked so um, and just give your if, if you'll find that you can only do this for a, a half a minute, a minute or so, and you start to get tense, you know, maybe around your sh your shoulder or your neck, so just stop, give yourself a little shake, move your head around like that, give your shoulders a wee shake, and then go back to it again. Do you remember the stages? Boom, 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 put the weight down, hold it up like that, and um, you can move your waist to turn around, but what you could do is, I usually use my feet, so I'm just going to do that. If I want to turn myself towards the music, I usually use my feet like this, rather than just turning my waist, because that might be sore. You could turn it a little bit, but I would recommend that for any big movement, you actually move your feet. What we don't want is this. We don't want to, we don't want your violin to end up like this. You look like an elephant tusk. Instead, an elephant um, uh, trunk. Sorry, not trunk, like that. Remember, it always has to stay here. So if you need to move, you move your feet. You don't move your violin towards the music stand. Remember, it's always sandwiched there. And then you're shooting the music in the music stand. This is like the, the sight of a toy gun. And you're shooting the, shooting the uh, music on the music stand like that. And you're looking through the sight of your gun. So that's all. So, um, and just try that, um, every, try, try walking around the room with your violin every day for a couple of minutes, going over those notes um, in Willow Waltz. And most of all, having fun. Fiddly bye bye.